You have just been cheated out of $1,000 for a stupid brick. How do you take revenge? Beat the shit out of myself with the brick for being that dumb. You can drill a hole into the brick and make this happen. Can't afford a drill. I just spent $1,000 on a brick. Colon open bracket. Say hey, what's red and bad for your teeth? And when they open their mouths to say something hit them in the face with the brick. What's blue and really bad for your teeth? A really fast brick. This guy shifts. For the stid. Is that why Sonic is blue? Only when he's moving toward you. His name is Knuckles when he's running away. Paint a stick figure on it, call it a Bansky, and sell it for 2 million dollars like the first guy should have done. What's stopping you now? Decoy snail. That's a years old meter. Good job son. Still my favorite is credit meter. Right supreme on it. I'm not mad that this exists. Just disappointed. I'm less disappointed that it exists, and more disappointed that 256 people in the last 12 months have bought it for an average of $133. People come up with dumb shit all the time, but people are actually buying into this. Sell it on eBay as the brick from that Reddit thread and hopefully somebody rich buys it for more than $1000. Now we must ask the glorious karma gods to make this post famous. Leave karma gods alone. We just need to add a video game giveaway. Free copy of Fortnite full game. Start a GoFundMe about a homeless brick that was caught on camera giving its only slice of pizza to another person. Take the money, destroy brick so it doesn't sue you. This makes me feel sorry for the brick. I returned it for $2000. No revenge needed. I'm the husband, so I can't take revenge. I get it. I don't PLSS plan. If you can sell the brick for $1000 you get 1 mil. A husband sells it to the wife for 1k who then sells it back for 2k to make a bit of a profit. It was another ask reddit question tofe. Hit whoever scammed me with the brick. Hit the brick with whoever scammed me. Isaac Newton would like to know your location. That's funny because I'm right next to his old room at Trinity, Cambridge. Meanwhile my neighbor is probably definitely eating cheetahs and playing wow. This happened to me. It was 750 euros at the time, summer 2013, worth about 980 US dollars. I bought a laptop from Dell, and from day one it was so riddled with problems, it was unusable. The simplest tasks took forever. Wi-Fi, Ethernet and more crashed continuously, requiring a full power cycle to work again. Formatting and reinstalling Windows did nothing. Worst of all, Dell support did nothing but delay and delay. One day I finally managed to have a Dell tech over to check it out. He confirmed the countless issues and called up Dell to say I require a replacement. I wait. He hangs up and looks at me. Sorry. Red light equals no go. And he had to leave me with this quite literal brick. Late last year I found out that as consumer in the EU, the Netherlands specifically, I'm well protected against this. I consulted with a bureau, and they believe that, even though so much time has now passed, with such an extreme case, I'm still able to get my $1000 back, if I pursue it. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm getting my money back from them, one way or another. Dell can go f themselves. Former Dell tech support agent here. For anyone who has recurring issues and you can't seem to get any help, tell the next tech support agent you talk to that, when you turned it on, it started smoking. If you need more, mention the smell of hot electronics. One thing Dell doesn't want, is a lawsuit, because their faulty machine burned someone's house down. This used to work on any Dell system, laptop, or desktop and, no matter the age, they'd replace it, typically with a close equivalent refurb so make sure you aren't going to get shafted by getting something worth less than you paid for. Another thing, technically this is fraud, if you do it, but if they can't fix their lemons, get them to make you lemonade. Break it in half, boom, two $1000 bricks. Don't you freaking dare to hurt the brick. Give me my money back, or this brick is going up your ass, sideways. Oh no they are extremely gay, and have a brick fetish. Well it's continuing up them, until it comes out the other side, so no matter how kinky they are it's gonna hurt at some point.